Welcome to another uh, Pirate Party member meeting. Um, it is January 11th, 9.04 p.m. Uh, my name is James O'Keefe, Captain and Resident O. Somerville. Uh, who else is here? Steve Revelak, Arlington. Unfortunately, it broke up there, Joe. Is Joe breaking up for you, Steve, or just me? Uh, also me as well. Okay. All right. I wasn't sure. <clears throat> um, okay. So, uh, reports. Um, there was a meeting about the Location Shield Act today. Um, the plan is to focus a set of events uh, starting Wednesday to draw attention to it. That's H5537 and S148 in the Massachusetts Legislature. Uh, amongst other things, it would ban um, the selling of location data. So, you know, if, if you don't have a warrant, you're not getting it. So, um, I mean, <clears throat> that's the selling of it. You could use it within your own company if you're gathering it. Um, but you couldn't sell it. You couldn't have data brokers who sell it. Uh, so there's going to be a series of events. <clears throat> starting on when next Wednesday, the 17th, uh, that will have a webinar. And then there's other things going on, lobbying efforts and stuff like that. So we'll have more information about that. Um, um, <clears throat> yeah. Jamie, who is uh, organizing these events? It's a broad consortium of groups. Um, ACLU is taking the lead, but um, <clears throat> Digital Fourth, um, warrantless.org is going to be there, and there are many other organizations that are going to be involved, um, which is good because we're all affected by um, the lack of data privacy when it comes to our location, whether the government gets it without a warrant just by buying it or whether someone gets it to go after you because they think you know you you might be going to have an abortion or something like that so so um yeah i'll, I'll write something up and send it to the activist email list um cool thank you sure um yeah i just don't know how much they want to put on an open forum except yeah, there's definitely a thing on the webinar. There's a series of events, and folks, uh, there'll be times for people to call in legislators uh, as well. They're organizing events for that. Um, so, uh, in terms of chair report, um, <clears throat> had an email. Uh, an email um, update went out, set of blog posts have gone out about um, this meeting, <laughs> uh, people being candidates for officer elections, picking the date for the winter conference. Um, also, there's going to be a pirate who's coming in today uh, from Australia. There, um, Miles is coming for a conference, and if folks want to get together with him, uh, at the moment we have planned for 6 p.m. Um, on Monday, Martin Luther King Day, the 15th, uh, at uh, Cambridge Common in on Massachusetts Avenue, just outside Harvard Square on the way to Porter Square. So a little, little dinner in Miles' honor. Um, there'll be a link in the description for those watching this of how you can tell us if you're going to come. Uh, other reports?
Hearing none. Uh, <clears throat> there was a U.S. Pirate Party meeting. Um, uh, <clears throat> and um, I don't have an update on that, but there's a recording. So I'll go and I'll post that. Um, and people can watch watch those meetings. Those meetings are all recorded. <clears throat> uh, that's due. For Sorry, what, Joe? We have year-end, that's due. There we are. Yes, we have the year-end OCPF um, report that's due. Uh, are you around this weekend to... Uh, I, so we can go. We can go over it. Yeah, I'll be around this weekend, and if you have some time tonight, though, uh, I, I could do it right now. But if you want to do it this weekend, that's fine too. This weekend would be better, simply because I've been flat out today, um, and I got to go pick up Miles from the airport. <laughs> So, um, I believe he's got a place to stay. Um, uh, but, you know, if you want to have an Australian pirate, uh, use your spare bedroom, by all means. <laughs> Contact us at info at masspirates.org. And, uh, you know, if his arrangements fall through, it's always good to have a backup. Um, yeah, please. What? What? I wish I could, but I lost a sister to that room. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so the winter conference. Um, let me see. So if we look at, thanks to everyone who um, put their votes in on the questionnaire uh, on the question of how long should a party conference last um the overwhelming majority was the usual one day is fine uh in terms of what week works best for you um next week is the one that works best and that's from monday the 15th through sunday the 21st um with the next best uh the 29th to the 4th uh 29th of january to the 4th of sunday the 4th of february and then the other two so that was like four and then three for the second choice and then uh the week this week and um the week after next, we're both there with two. Uh, in terms of what should the party focus, or should the conference focus on, group discussions had five, campaign how-tos was four, and then updating the party platform presentations and how-to workshops, protecting your privacy, file sharing, whatever, we're all tied at two. Um, so group discussions, I think, kind of leads off and whatever with campaigning how-tos. Conference topics, um, the number one, one was decentralizing auditing of governments and corporations, uh, building third-party coalitions and hacktivism and housing and municipal organizing, uh, open government and surveillance and counter-surveillance were next. And then um, there's a wide variety of stuff below that, and then everything else is there. Uh, various people said they would help tell their friends or fund the conference or organize the con conference. So uh, this weekend I'll be reaching out to folks. Uh, and those are all the questions that we have. So I guess the question is, do we want to go for – this upcoming weekend, not not this weekend, the following weekend, or the weekend of, or the week of um, the 29th to the 4th? I would say the 29th to the 4th. That gives us a little more time. And yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. Sorry, Coach. 
Uh, I was going to say I was one of the ones that was really going for the 29th to the 4th, mainly because that gives us all more time. However, um, if we do it for next weekend, then we have no time to really do anything but all the stuff that we already do. And if the majority of the people are saying, hey, let's just do it this week, well, why not just do it this week? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I don't know. I feel like having more time to tell people this is when it is, these are the details, you know. I, I, I'd rather do that. Um, let me go look at the submissions and see if anyone who wanted to talk, speak at this could not make, well, actually, we just said, what we, what, what we best, works best for you. We didn't actually say, well, can you make this or not? Um, sorry, just looking. Yeah, no, the, the whole thought was, or at least the thought process of just doing it right away, is we can do our officer can see, but we have to get that all set up so that people can get a run for a, a particular office and then elect them. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, I could see doing it both ways because something nice and quick and get it done with, or doing it longer, a little bit more long-term. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, my preference would be just to to do it, uh, you know, in it have a date, say, the 3rd or the 4th, um, and then just do that. That gives us, you know, roughly a bit more than 20 days, so three weeks to tell people about it, get everything lined up rather than in the middle of trying to help with the uh, ACLU, with, with the data privacy, well, not data privacy, but the the no, data, no location data sharing bill. Um, if we're trying to deal with promoting that and also promoting the conference, it, it makes things a little harder. Uh, yes and no. I mean, while we're promoting that other thing, they go, oh, by the way, we're having a conference. So, you know. But so we have more time. <laughs> I guess is my thought. Well, let me ask you this. Um, So, uh, how, do I, how do I say? Why don't, uh, so, how is, is, is the, is Saturday, February 3rd, from noon to 4 p.m., an acceptable time? Do we want that time? Works for me. I will be slightly more distracted, but I will be there. And we won't have to be there in person, so, yeah. Um, uh, man, I have had more experience, more events, work or whatever, with people this, this last couple of weeks. Um, okay, so... Makes sense. So that's so, it then. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people voted on one or the other, and if it's it really is a choice of getting it set up, especially you, you do make a solid point with us working on that that particular build that's very piratey um, with the privacy. Um, you know, and it, it gives us an opportunity to organize and get it ready. Um, and I'm really, really hoping to get a good pool of candidates for this election for every office. So the more we can spread that out, the more people we can get to 
run for a particular particular office or another would probably be best. So. Yeah. Um, so speaking. Okay. Um, okay. So when when do we then want to set the date for nominations to be in and elections? My thought would be at the meeting um, we could have candidates appear and talk and then the ballots go out that Sunday and then they're back a week later because I know Joe you you want to be able you want to hand things off because you have other other things that you are barred from doing as a <laughs> treasurer of the party um, well here's the thing I would like to do that as the video conferences the week before so on the 28th i want the video conferences to start the video chat to start a little earlier so we have plenty of time um start at like six o'clock instead of our seven okay. and that way we have um a little extra time if we need it to go ahead and talk to any candidate um you know, I mean, I'm not going to completely not run for any office, but I'm going to limit what I'm trying to do so that I don't burn out the way I did this last year. Yeah, I know you've been really busy. Um, well, I think that's a really good idea to do it, to, to basically have pirate news be meet the candidates. Uh, and for those candidates who can't make it, maybe we could have some time during the conference to kind of do additional ones and um i do have an idea yeah. um we could have them do a video submission and give them a general questionnaire depending on what office they're in for them to submit and post so um one of the things i would like to really do this year is any pirate candidate can submit a video to our to you or to myself uh to be well, info at masspirates.org <laughs> oh yeah can be submitted yeah. But to be posted as a video to our youtube channel so that anyone who's running for anything can be like yo i'm running this is why i'm a good person for this and it'd be just posted to our videos for people to watch um yeah that's good you know and then we could do uh, open questionnaire where that way we get the, all the general information their their resume for say out of the way so that way we open it up to be much more of like a a public discourse during during the video meeting okay so when do we want the submissions by uh anytime before the actual Hold on, looking at the calendar. Duh, duh, duh. I'd say anytime before the 28th. So. Why don't we say the 27th? Because then that gives us time to at least get them uploaded. And um, then I will say the 26th because that gives us a whole day to upload them. Because if there's a lot of them, <laughs> <laughs> one could hope. Um, I think 26 is fine. That gives people, um, you know, two, two weeks. Like we can go post that tomorrow. Um, and, uh, yeah, to certainly notify the, the existing candidates and, and this other, and then post it, you know, post it more publicly. Um, and then do we do we have a list of questions i think we had questions i think we have questions on the time uh, sorry say that again joe once upon a time i mean what i was thinking for questions is simply nothing more than hey i am this person this is the office i would like this is why i'd be good for this position 
You know, I mean, the, on the national level, they came up with some really good questions for each office. I think Yari might be able to present those to you for some okay. of the different um, offices. But um, I don't think there's one listed for every single office. I will ask Yari for the candidate questionnaire list. Our candidate question list. Okay. Uh, all right. So we'll we'll aim to have it in by the by end of day the twenty sixth. Um, if folks need an extension, they should just email us at info at masspirates.org or somehow reach out and tell us. Um, and then, so we'll put those up the 27th, the 28th, that pirate news will have whomever wants to come on and they can answer questions. People can attend and ask questions. Um, and then if anyone misses it and we want to do a Q and a, um, we could still have it at the conference as well. Um, So do we want to send the nom do we want to send the ballots out on that Sunday after the conference? I think that works. Okay. Steve, uh, historically, um, question. Sorry, go Steve, Joe. Historically, Steve has been the facilitator of said ballots, correct? He's been the one who does the magic so that everyone gets their own unique code that only they they know and we do not peek at and then destroy once the voting is done so we don't know how who voted for what. Are you I, I can, to... I can uh, do that on um, I can do that on the fourth. Okay. Um, and I can make sure to, to send the, yeah, we can send the ballot out. We can format that stuff together. We have that from the last election. Um, when do we want them back by? I'm going to go check the bylaws. Joe, are you okay with the day after the ballots go out? Yeah. Surely it's a pretty quick process, isn't it? Uh, so, election. Members shall elect a power council once a year at our annual conference. Ballots, as well as voting instructions, the date ballots are to be returned. Should be mailed to every member three weeks prior to the election date. Uh, members must be able to submit their secret ballots electronically or by mail. All members shall be elected using IRV as defined in Article 3.0. Uh, so ballots as well as voting instructions have to be returned three weeks, or they have three weeks to get it to us. So if it goes out on the 4th, then 4th, three weeks would be the 25th. See. I mean, we could do... We could do it on the 27th. The ballots go out, so that would be one, two, three. That would be by the sixteenth, so that when we put the when we put the things up, the ballots will have gone out. So that means that people need to nominate by roughly the twenty sixth, which is two weeks. How does that sound? 
that good, Joe? Yeah, that works for me. And then, like, two days later is the actual nominee um, questionnaire. Yeah, I mean, I like... I mean, they have to put them in, they have to put their hat in the ring by the 26th, and then we say, you know, we're going to have this thing on the 28th. If you can, I mean, we can notify people ahead of time, right? And be like, okay, you're a candidate. Here's the questionnaire. Um, put together a video statement and we'll upload it. And then, um, you know, we can just do. You know, we could we could go and just create a what do you call it? Um, on on YouTube, we could create a collection of videos, and then we'll just add them as need be. Um, and I will, of course, put mine last because that's what a captain should do. Um, in the sort quick, order. Quick, quick. What, Joe? I got a quick question. Yep. So YouTube is considered social media, right? Yes. So if it happens on social, if it doesn't happen on social media, it didn't happen, did it? <laughs> <laughs> so if you didn't, make a YouTube video as to why you're a good candidate, it didn't happen. Um, it, it should be that if people don't want to do videos, they can just send us a text representation and, and we can we can just put that up on a web page and people can get those as well. I totally disagree. You can totally do a video with a random picture of like SpongeBob as your profile picture and still be a candidate. It's true. Actually, I think it is important that people be able to show their face if they're going to be officers. Um, all right, so to go back, nominations due by the 26th. Um, Videos due by the 26th, ballots go out the 27th, due back the 16th, conference on the 28th, we'll have a Q&A, and then on the 3rd, we'll have a Q&A with the candidates. That sound like a plan? It does. Yep. Perfect. All right. Um, so, okay. So next week, I guess we could look at, I mean, I, I can reach out to the folks who wanted to, to talk or otherwise help, and we can um, start to firm up a schedule and then finalize the schedule next week. Thursday? Yeah, that works. Okay. I'm done. All right. So for planning for 2024, um, we need to contact cities and towns to get the list of voters. Um, Steve, would you have time? Like there's, there's a web page that has all of the contact information for every single town clerk or city elections division. I'm thinking if we can get that, we could put that information in our database and then maybe send out a mass email to all of them saying, hey, we'd like our list of voters, please, um, and see what we get back. I could try. Um, I know. I, I, I know my town wants you to submit public records requests for that sort of stuff. Um, okay. But, you know, emailing town clerks can't hurt. Yeah, I mean, even if it's like, what is your procedure for getting this? 
Um, you know, even if it's like like Somerville, you can email them, and it it may be that they just know me because I've been in there many times <laughs> for different elections. Um, but they're very yeah. You want this? Okay. That like they won't extract just the pirates, but they'll give me they'll give people all of the voters. Um, I know so in just, Lowell, yeah. um, they are very, very backwards when it comes to technology, and it's kind of more of a show-up type deal. First thing that Lowell got hacked not that long ago. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, but I think if we at least do an email of what is your, A, A can you just give this to us? If you can't, what is your procedure for a political party or a PAC uh, to request that political designation? And then, you know, following that procedure and going through all 354 municipalities in Massachusetts um, to get our list of voters so we can reach out to them. Since, you know, the state won't give them to us. Even though they have them, <laughs> it's their database. Um, okay, so yeah, if you could, if you could do that, Steve, I can put together the email. Um, I'll send it out for review and then get it sent off. We'll see how many spam filters we get into. <laughs> Man, this is so weird. Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah. All right, and then uh, do we want to do a video newsletter this Sunday? I do. I definitely do. You do? I do. What about you, Steve? Can you make one? Uh. Could I make a video? Yeah. Sorry. Could you, make, could you make pirate news? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Sorry, uh, I was okay. typing notes. <laughs> yeah, no, I appreciate that. Been there. Yeah, I know that. No worries. Um, okay, so let's plan for this Sunday. Um, I can create the um, setup. Uh, <clears throat> the the um, Here it comes. Um, yeah, so I can go and schedule the, the live stream. Um, would you be able to do the live stream, Joe? Is your computer set up or not yet? It isn't, but it, it will be motivation for me to get it set up this weekend. So Excellent. Uh, and if you want to test that, I can help. Okay. Okay. Um, and just... Judging by how, how tired you seem, motion to adjourn. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah, going to be up late. I got to go to Logan. Um, okay, so yes. Uh, do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Seeing none opposed, uh, thanks. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Steve. For attending this um, for those of you watching you know you that go to the masspirates.org and there's details about how you can uh, join these meetings uh, we do ask that you're <clears throat> that you sign up on our database and all uh, we're an open group so with that um, I hope everyone has a wonderful evening and get some rest and a wonderful weekend it's rain coming Yep. More rain and 50 degree weather. Yeah. This is crazy. Okay. All right. I'm going to start the recording now. <laughs> Bye.